Morning. China confirming its uh, top trade negotiator will be in D.C. Uh, this week for high-level talks. The big conversation happened on Thursday. I want to get to Eunice Yoon, who's live in Beijing this morning. Tell us what the feelings are on the ground right now. Well, um, Andrew, as you had said, the latest news is that the Chinese Commerce Ministry uh, did announce that the Vice Premier Liu He is going to be traveling to Washington for trade talks on Thursday and Friday with Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin. So there had been some concern that the Vice Premier, as well as the an entire uh, Chinese delegation, wouldn't show up to uh, the talks uh, because of the uh, the tweet that President Trump had had put out. Out, or earlier, a threatening tariffs. And overnight, uh, Lighthizer uh, said that the U.S. is going to make good on that, saying that they plan to activate the long delayed plan to raise tariffs from 10 to 25 percent on $200 billion worth of goods starting from Friday. Uh, Lighthizer, as well as Mnuchin, had both told reporters that uh, they believe that the Chinese were backsliding on certain core tenets of the trade deal. So now we know that the trade deal is on, the trade talks are on. Uh, however, uh, in a strongly worded commentary just moments ago, uh, the People's Daily, which is an official party paper, uh, said that the U.S. should not even think about concessions. And the paper reads, when things are unfavorable to us, no matter how you ask, we will not take any step back. So this hard line coincides with what the Chinese have been saying repeatedly, that they are willing to negotiate, but not with a gun to their head. So the Chinese have also said that they want to have a trade deal, but they are also quite mindful of what is going on back home and the perception. They do not want it to look to the Chinese people that Beijing is being cowed by Washington. So because of that, it doesn't necessarily bode well for the discussions this week that we could have a resolution, for example, by Friday. This might take a, a little bit longer than uh, what people had anticipated. Eunice, how much pressure do people feel, though, given what's happened in the stock market in China, even over the past 48 hours? I mean, is that, is that in well, the same in way terms that of, that would put pressure yeah, on people here? I mean, in is terms of doing the same there? Well, it is in that. So so uh, there's been a lot of talk online, a lot of investors worried about what was going on in the stock market yesterday because of the dramatic falls. Also, I was just talking with some um, exporters, Chinese exporters who sell to the United States, and they are on full on panic mode because they're worried about uh, this huge jump for the tariff. And also they're concerned about what's going to happen with the, the currency. However, uh, when you uh, think about the, the calculation that Beijing has, um, the, the, the government itself is worried, but what we're seeing is that they've been throwing a lot of money at the problem. Uh, stimulus has been taking, it's, you know, taking place, so there's this feeling that maybe there's a little bit more time for the Chinese. And then when you think about how long the two sides have been negotiating over the course of the year, we haven't seen the Chinese government really make a massive changes when it comes to the way it runs its economy. And and that tariff threat has been out there for a while. Now it's just going to be possibly implemented by the end of the week. But, but so, so because of that, um, there is pressure, but um, the, the Chinese government might feel as though that pressure is controllable.